everyone welcome back we are in day 8 of AL programming bootcamp so in day 8 we are going to understand about unary and binary operators in AL programming business central so if you have missed the previous videos like day 1 to day 7 please go and check the playlist so that you will have some idea if you are not aware of what is AL programming where it is used and how it is used you have to watch this day 1 to day 7 and if you know about what all these things you just want to know about what is unary and binary operator then you are good to go so let us just open my visual studio code so here you can see we are in a day 8 unary and binary operator so what is unary operator first of all operators what is an operator so operator is a symbol okay operator means is a symbol okay which op uh, which which specify the operations to perform in an expression okay so what is the expression uh, for a for example if you take a uh, number one colon equal to number two plus number three this is an expression okay so what happens here is what this is an operator if you take a is equal to b plus c so b is an operand c is an operand whereas which is used to evaluate something is called as an operator this is a symbol basically it will be a symbol either a plus or minus or asterisk or and it might be a, a, a keyword greater than less than equal to so it will be a symbol or a keyword so in al programming of course in any programming language we have two types of operators one is unary operator and second one is binary operator so what is this unary operator so uh, this is used this will use only one operand okay operand so now you all can uh, think about what is an operand so operand is a term used in computer programming language to represent the value or a variable that operator acts upon for example if i'm using a plus b so this operator it's acting on a and b right so if you take 23 plus 32 this is an operator addition operator or an arithmetic operator which is acting upon 23 and 32 so this 23 and 32 we call it as an operand okay so for unary operator if you take a unary operator it will only act on only one operand okay so for example if you take my number you can use minus number to negate that number okay or not not is a logical operator if you don't know what is logical operator so please go and watch the previous video not is an operator which will give you the reverse of this any specific operate any specific result okay so in unary the operator has a single operand which means minus x something like that or else in binary it has two operand so a plus b is a op uh, binary operator a minus b is also a binary operator but if you use only minus x which means it is negating the value okay so let us see with a very simple example like what we are trying to do in the unary and binary operator i'm just uh, i'm going to show you only the uh, page okay page is a uh, ui which is used to create um which is used to create a uh, um, user interface for the in business central okay so this is uh, unary and binary okay so this is unary and binary i don't have any table name here and um i i'm just going to show you like how i'm i'll be negating this operator okay so number one colon integer uh, so here uh, if i just go ahead and i can create a something like for example uh, i'm just adding my number one okay number one and in the action i'm just naming it as unary okay so in your begin and end i'm just making it as number colon is equal to minus number one which will display you the value of num minus value okay so message i'm just going to display the message here number one is 
with this okay so what if you see before if you are directly seeing this if you don't know al programming if you don't know page i request you please go and watch uh, the previous day 1 to day 5 first day 7 first and then also you should watch this page in business central so that you will understand what is a page in business central and how to use this okay so this is important and then because every session i cannot explain all these things because it's already explained okay so this is a page property and this is a layout it will show you the number 1 that is first number okay i am just going to make it caption 1 is equal to caption 1 um Okay, so here I have used a uh, number one that is two and negated. Okay, unary which acts upon only one operand. If you go with the binary, we have already discussed about the binary, which is like addition or subtraction, like whatever which acts upon two different number. Okay, which act on two different uh, uh, operands, then that we call it as what binary. So let us just uh, have an another example. Number one, number two. integer and the result uh, integer so i am just going to uh, add an another action here action binary and let us just to start with uh, application area is equal to all and everything and it is like we have added number 1 plus number 2 okay so it will store in the result that is Result number one plus number two, okay, and it will throw you the result. Result of binary, okay. Result of binary is, and we are going to display the result. Okay, like this is if you wanted to show the value, you have to use this percentage one. Okay, the exact value. But if you just want to show like result of binary is and then the result, then you can just leave it as such. So let us save this and execute this code in order to see how this unary and binary operator is working. Okay, so let us save this and let us execute this. So we did very simple code. Okay, so unary means which operates only on one single operand. Even the not. Okay, not is only uh, work on one single operand. Whereas uh, and or is a binary operator which it needs uh, the result. Like it needs two operands to perform on it. Okay. So it is going to it is executing here. So we will be uh, giving the value for number one. okay and then we will if we execute the action it will show you the value for unary and also for the binary okay so here you can see this we have uh, uh, we have given in the action unary and binary so you can see that in the action you have unary and binary and okay so this only one value i have displayed so you have to add the field number 2 as well and you should also add a field uh, result okay and let us have this as uh, okay let it be like this so let us execute it again because see initially i have only added the field number 1 so it shows only one field okay even this will work if i give 25 and if i press unary you can see the message it is opening okay so you can see that it is showing a message like minus 25 because it is a we have negated the value right so it is showing uh, the uh, it is showing this output like minus so this is what the unary operator okay and here you can see okay so if i uh, give some value uh, 45 and if i uh, press the action like binary you can see the added value of both result of binary is 68 uh, whereas if i give unary uh, so you can see that the negated value so it works only on one operand okay and 
these are all the um, this is the operator precedence like if you are using multiple things okay how it works for example in the same in the same sentence if you are giving asterisk division mod and or xor so how it works it works based on this precedence okay so you can try this and let me know like what is the if you are facing any error if you need more clarification okay so what is the today's um, uh exercise is sort what you have to first try this all okay so you have to try unary binary operators and everything and let me know if you have still any doubt okay so i can clarify try with not okay previously we have um, uh, tried with conditional statement and and or so you have to try with not so try not is also a unary operator okay so how you can use this not because you know you can uh, start with this trigger i'm just writing not here on validate okay and inside the begin and end i'm just adding if not okay if not number 1 is uh greater than 0 so what happens is what okay so since it is not right uh, if number is greater than 0 means it is a true condition not means it's a false okay the number 1 should not be greater than 0 that is what uh, here they are telling so if you are using not it is the reverse it's a false so this should be false number 1 should not be greater than 0 Okay, number one greater than zero. Number one should not be greater than zero, like that. Okay, so like we are just making it as. Uh, okay, so we are just making it as uh, is less than zero. Should. Okay, so greater than zero. Let let us just try to execute this. Okay, uh, so let us just execute it, and I will just press zero there. and see how it is working okay so i'm just typing zero here okay and let us just go and check unary number 1 is zero okay and if i am entering 252 and if i just uh minus 56 so number 1 should be greater than zero okay so you should enter the greater than value why because i'm just using this validation because already i'm just trying to negate this value okay So, first one is it should it it should be like greater than zero. So not in the sense it will be the it will check the value and it will negate it. Okay, so that is it will show the reverse of it. So that is what here we have we have given. So this is not is also a unary operator. Okay, I hope you understand the concept here. So this is unary and uh, binary operator. Tomorrow, the next day, we'll be discussing about the list and dictionary. Okay, we will understand what is list, what is dictionary, and why I'm giving very important, uh, um, uh, like why I'm giving focus on list and dictionary. Though we have various data types to discuss, why I'm giving unary and binary operator here. Try this logical operator. I'll be sharing the exercise in the blog, and I'll be commenting that in the. Um, I'll be. Uh, use i will be using that like i will be giving the link in the description thank you take care and bye bye